Hey folks, it's Michael Johnson. Welcome to this week's Energy Sketch. We're going to talk today about addiction and specifically addiction in two senses. One, the personal sense of addiction in terms of recreational drugs or alcohol or other things like that. And also the societal addiction in terms of fossil fuels. And some like to say that we are addicted to fossil fuels. And I'll try to bring a little bit of nuance perhaps to that understanding today. So let's think about if we plot against time, our consumption of certain things like these drugs or alcohol or fossil fuels. And it might look something like this. At the beginning, you see there's a few spikes up and down when maybe you're trying to experimenting with something new and it's like, ooh, this is interesting. You know, maybe you try alcohol and it's kind of a social lubricant and then it gets you into interesting situations. You're more social, you're sort of more outgoing in those times when you are consuming. And so you continue to do that and you scale up, you ramp up your consumption of those substances up to a level uh, where suddenly you realize, hey, wait a second, we got a problem here. There's a problem here with my behavior, the negative effects on your health, on your relationships, your focus on those substances to do neglecting your work, your job, your home life, your health, your wellness, all of those things. And on the flip side, on the societal side, when we think about fossil fuels, I mean, Fossil fuels have brought us so much. They've fed, housed, and kept people warm and fed all the billions of people. The billions of beautiful souls on this planet have been nourished, really, thanks to fossil fuels. But there's a problem, right? We're realizing that the effects of burning fossil fuels are hampering the ability of future generations potentially to inhabit the planet and feed themselves and uh, live nice lives in the future. So we're realizing that, hey, with fossil fuels, right, there's a problem. And so I like to think that the first step, and disclaimer here, I am certainly not a medical doctor, right? I'm just an engineer who likes to think about uh, the link between personal things and societal things. So the first thing that I like to think about uh, when tackling something like this, when realizing there's a problem with your consumption of these things, is first, we thank those substances for their service. And in the case of perhaps drugs or alcohol, again, we thank that alcohol for the service that it brought us in the early days, the eye-opening experiences, the fun experiences that we may have had, the lubrication that it brought to our social uh, engagements and our social dynamics. And in the case of fossil fuels, we thank fossil fuels, those blessed, highly energy dense, easy to transport, easy to generate, uh, sources of energy that have helped, uh, you know, humankind and humanity to blossom across this planet and for the billions of beautiful souls on this earth to experience life. So thank you to fossil fuels for their service, but they are no longer fit for purpose. In the same way that you may realize that, right, alcohol is no longer fit for purpose uh, as a crutch for me to get out there in social uh, events. And I am going to then start to ramp down my consumption and ramp up consumption or behavior with other things. And we are going to substitute those substances and replace those substances with something else. And so in the case of fossil fuels, it's also important to recognize that fossil fuels are essential to our way of life today. And so there's no real way that we can just go cold turkey on fossil fuels. And probably that's not advisable in a medical way for other things like drugs or alcohol or cigarettes or other things. Going cold turkey is probably not the best strategy there. Uh, generally speaking, but again, I'm not a medical doctor. But what we want to do is ramp down those harmful substances and ramp up their substitutes or their replacements in the shortest possible time frame that we can while doing it in a way that maintains our health, our wellness, the quality of our relationships. And in the case of the societal of the fossil fuels, we want to maintain justice, 
equity, uh, security of supply. We don't want people to freeze over the winter while we're busy switching out our infrastructure for something else. And we have many, many solutions to the problems and to the services that fossil fuels have provided us with in the past. So it's a matter of how rapidly can we scale up replacements in a way that is just and equitable, economic, as well and do this in uh, the most rapid time frame possible. So these are a few thoughts on addiction as it relates to uh, drugs, alcohol, how to ramp those things down and substitute or replace them with other things in the same way that fossil fuels, we want to start ramping those down and replacing and substituting them with other things. But these things today are essential to our way of life. So there's no real stop oil today. Cold turkey is not going to work. And that being said, we do want to start accelerating this transition as rapidly as we can. And there will always be pressure and a desire to go faster. Uh, of course, that dynamic, that pressure will always be present, but we should do this in a way that leaves a proper legacy and treats people equitably and make sure that we have energy security going forward into the future. So those are my thoughts today on the energy sketch, folks. would love to hear you in the, from you in the comments and uh, hope you're well and be well and have a good week. See you next time, Monday, 12, 12 p.m. Eastern time, youtube.com slash at energy sketch. See you later. Toodaloo.